As per request I decided to do a green smoky eye look and normally I don't wear green eyeshadow because my eyes are hazel more so green and when I wear green eyeshadow I find that it takes the green out of my eyes and they look more brown so that's why I typically avoid it but a lot of you were requesting a look using green eyeshadow that is wearable for daytime or night and I find that green eyeshadow is much more wearable when you pair it with browns and shades that you're more comfortable with. So I'm just starting off prepping my face and today I did decide to use a primer because I am using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi in W3 and I find this doesn't stay on my skin that well. I love the finish of it but I do need a primer for this foundation. And I was shouting at you Anastasia Brow Wiz and Brunette, just using the spoolie to comb through my brows and then drawing in, feathering it out with the pencil. To fill in the front part of my brow and make it more natural looking because that area is very sparse, I just use a MAC 266 angle brush and just lightly push the product forward. And to set it, I'm just using the same company's clear brow gel. For eye primer, I'm using Soft Ochre by MAC and just applying this all over my lid with a Real Techniques brush and just bringing this all the way up to the brow. For a transition color, I decided to use MAC Soft Brown and just a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to apply that very lightly into my crease and just keep going back with a little bit more product each time to gradually darken it up. The main green that I'm going to use in this look is Bottle Green by MAC. And I got this in my haul if you watched my previous video. And this is a matte green shade. It's an emerald color and I'm just applying this all over my lid with a MAC 239 brush. As you can see, my brush is stained like a lime green. I used one of their pigments, a really bright one. I think it's a neon green or something like that. And it stained my brush. So I don't recommend using goat hair uh, brushes when you're using really bright colors because they can stain and I have washed it and try getting it out but currently it is stained like a lime green and now I'm just using a 217 by MAC to blend out that brown shade in the crease and now to deepen up the crease slightly I'm just using MAC Uninterrupted this is a pro longwear eyeshadow and it's just a really nice crease color I'm just applying that in my lower crease and then blending it out with again the MAC 217 brush and just I keep going back in with my green and my uh, soft brown color and just keep getting a nice blended look because I kind of take away from the green sometimes but I do want that to be the focal point. For a brow highlight I am using MAC Blanc Type and just putting that underneath my brow and then going back in with that green as I said and just trying to get the intensity that I like. Now I'm going back in with that same 217 blending brush and just making sure that my highlight and my transition color are well blended together. To deepen up the outer corner, I'm just taking MAC Plumage eyeshadow and a pencil brush and just popping that in my outer V just ever so lightly to deepen that corner. As you can see, every time that I apply a new shade, I go back in and just blend it out even more. I wanted to use a brown gel eyeliner, but I currently misplaced mine, so I decided to use my fluid line that is made for the brows by MAC. 
and it worked out nicely. It's a fluid line. You can use those in general for your brows. I know people use dip down sometimes, but I'm just applying that with a tiny pencil brush. I believe this is a Sigma E10, and then going to line the inner rims of my eyes with MAC Teddy Eye Coal. My lashes haven't been as curly as normal, and I think that's kind of due to pregnancy, so I decided to actually curl my lashes today and then go about my same mascara routine, which is my Dior Show Lash Maximizer, my Maybelline The Rocket, which I'm currently using, and then I actually finished it off with a little bit of CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara in black, which is my all-time favorite mascara at the moment. And this is what the eyes look like without lashes, but as you know, for videos, I do like wearing my falsies, so I'm putting on a half set, and I believe these are the Demi Wispies, just cut in half, and I'm using the outer corner of that lash and just placing it on my eyes, and I love accent lashes because they just give a nice winged cat eye shape to the eye, especially when I'm wearing winged eyeliner. I just love it. I felt like my brows were like half done so I decided to go back with my Anastasia Brow Duo in Brunette just to thicken them up a little bit and I like how they turned out better the second time around. Uh, the first time they were a little bit too thin for my liking. And for my under eye I'm just using MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen in Light Boost and this is just a yellow toned highlighting pen that just brightens the under eye area and I really really like it. When using this product, you just want to make sure that you really blend it in and because it's so yellow based and brightening, you may have to correct it with a concealer over top. Sometimes I can get away with not putting a concealer over top, but today I went back and used my Studio Finish Concealer in NW25 and just provided a little bit more coverage plus corrected the color to my skin tone. My favorite facial concealer is the Studio Finish Concealer as well and I just apply this to my nose in NC30 and I find this concealer stays on my nose which I have problems with slippage of foundation even with a primer but that concealer works wonderfully for me. And to set it all I'm just using MAC Light Sweep on top of my concealer and then going back into my waterline and just using that Teddy Eye Coal and then blending it out with Bottle Green on that same shadow brush that I used earlier and just applying my Lash Perfection by CoverGirl to my lower lashes. To finish off the face, I'm using my Cargo Blu-ray Press Powder in number 20 and just using a Kabuki brush by MAC, I believe this is the 182, and just pressing this all over my skin to set my foundation and then going in with Benefit's Hula Bronzer and contouring my face. I decided to go a little bit crazy with contouring today and contoured my nose and I'm just using a blending brush to do so and running it down the sides of my nose and then I went back in with a kabuki and just kind of blended that out a bit more. And then I'm using my new blush by Benefit, the Rock Tour, and I love this brush. It's just a beautiful rose gold shade. And then for highlight, I'm using Matte Cream Color Base in Pearl and this just sets in so nicely with my skin. Cream color bases are just perfect for those with dry skin and give a nice healthy glow to your skin. So I really love this. You can tell by how much I've used out of this product. And then for my lips, I'm going in with MAC Subculture Lip Pencil. Just lining my bottom and top lip. I don't overdraw my lips. I just go along my natural lip line. And then using my new lipstick that I got in that haul, the Revolution Lipstick by Urban Decay in Naked 2. It's such a beautiful shade and just applying that all over my lips. This will be the perfect shade when I'm more tan. And to top it all off, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Lip Gloss in Patience Please, just to add a nice pink 
tint to my lips and then finishing off my face with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And I always get mascara on my eyeshadow, so I'm just going back in with a Q-tip and flaking that off. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a very wearable green eye makeup look with nice accent lashes that just accentuate the makeup and not too dramatic. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I personally love watching hauls, I like seeing what people get, so I